In this video I'll show you how to make an LED desk lamp made of a single aluminium body. I will show you how to make a dimmer as well in order to dim the light down if you want to. We'll start with a sketch to find out the proportions of it as well as the size of the wooden base. I picked up a meter long anodized aluminium slice from the local hardware store but of course you can choose your own. Mine is about 40 mm by 2 mm. But any white aluminium slice will do. I marked approximately the center of the slice and bent it on the table's edge. The final form looks like this. After that I made a center line on the aluminium and mark a hole for the cable to pass through. The cable is approximately 5 mm thick, so after drilling a 3 mm pilot hole, I ended up using 6 mm for the final hole. I sanded out the edges with the help of the rotary tool. Next step to cut the lead strip down to length. For my lamp, I measured a length of 40 cm and cut the strip using a pair of scissors. The cut should be done exactly where the scissor symbol is printed on the strip. It's a good idea to clean the aluminium with the alcohol before sticking the lead strip. Eight pieces of lead strip did fit that are more than enough while they provide a power of approximately 12 watts with 1400 lumens. To connect the LED strips together, I pre-soldered a cable and bridged all the negative terminals together. On the other end of the strips, I bridged all the positive terminals together. And finally, of course, I connected the power source cable to any of the terminals. The wood I used is a fir wood, but any wood type would pretty much do the job. I wanted a light colored wood, that's why I chose this one. Firstly, I marked some center lines and then marked two mitre cuts. I also made a groove for the power cables to pass through. Since my blade is too thin, I did a couple of passes one next to the other and end up with an 8mm wide groove. I measured the potentiometer and switch diameter and marked the center of the holes. For the potentiometer, I used a 32mm bead and marked the safe depth at roughly 45 degrees angle. I also sided the wood edges with a rotary tool. Using a carving knife, I removed the unnecessary wood. I made a slot for the aluminium slice to sit in. After marking the position, I used a 2 and 3 mm bit. After I sanded the rough edges with sandpapers, I painted it all white with a spray paint and then again sanded it to remove the excess paint. The next step is necessary only if you want to control the brightness of the light. Although I could just buy a LED dimmer, I chose to make my own. It's a board based on a 555 timer and the schematics is in the description. It basically switches on and off the circuit so fast that the human eye receives it as a dimmer or brighter light. I firstly tested the circuit on a breadboard and then made a permanent solution. It's time for the main switch that guess what? It switches the light on and off. I attached the port in the bottom of the wood and solve the potentiometer and switch according to the figure. And success! I couldn't find a knob to fit my potentiometer, so I 3D printed one. The 3D model is available in the description. I super glued it in place and we are almost done, except 
for an issue. I found the corner of the cable really ugly, so I 3D printed a cup to cover the mess. And now we are done. If you liked the video and want to see more, consider subscribing. Also, leave a comment for future improvements or just thumbs up if you liked the video.